what's up YouTube this is going to be another video I'm going to post for you guys uh, hopefully it's educational for some some it might just be a recap uh, I'm going to be going over shark rigs for land based shark fishing uh, the materials I used how I made my rigs um, the tools I used and uh, hardware and crimps so forth so without further ado let's get on to the video enjoy guys Alright, so if you're fishing for anything that has teeth, uh, bluefish, barracuda, anything, you're going to want to use a wire leader just so they don't break your line. This is 49 strand American fishing wire, 400 pound test, um, comes in 30 feet. I really like using my rigs, making my shark rigs out of this, just because it's so flexible and it doesn't uh, hold its memory. Uh, very flexible, gives your bait nice representation, moving with the water. Um, a lot of people don't like using cable, but I prefer cable over wire. I use them both, but I think cable is my number one way to go. Next up, like I just said, a lot of people use wire. This is a little bit of smaller wire. Most people use is a number eight, 86 pound test. Um, if I rig this up, I'll usually I double it up, double haywire twist. Uh, I don't like really using wire just because it's not as flexible as the cable itself, but they both work whatever you can get your hands on, I guess. Um, wire is a little cheaper than the cable, but I got them both in the um, eBay fishing kit. So, you know, I got them both at the same time. For my heavy mono, I got 400 pound um, heavy duty mono. I got it off um, catchmytackle.com about two years ago. I've made plenty of 10 to 15 foot rigs with it, and I still have a lot left. It was only like 15 bucks at the time, uh, 100 yards, 400 pound mono. I like it hang stuff up with it sometimes but that is that now when you have all that heavy duty cable you're gonna need some crimps um, some crimpers um, I got this kit just the crimps and the crimper tool came in a kit I got it uh, real cheap at sports authority they were going out of business so I just checked out their uh, fishing section then I got this a real um, an Abu Garcia Cardinal 2 for fresh water and I got both that and the crimping kit for around 40 bucks so I was like alright it's not that bad the kit came with multiple size sleeves uh, thimbles I believe that these are called um, metal and plastic and then to connect my breakaway bricks and to connect the leader to my actual line um, I had 400 pound swivels I ran out of those so I'm using size 6 ball bearing swivels uh, tsunami I get these for about a dollar a pack at the local fishing store um, and then to connect to my breakaway brick I have size 5 132 pound test you know just nothing serious just something that it will be able to hold on to now when I bought my um, 400 pound mono I also picked up a 10 pack of 14 aught hooks um, as you can see I had this sitting in the bay for a little bit and there's no rust on it you know just some nasty stuff from the bay uh, sharpened them up a little bit on my main rigs now I crushed my barbs um, sharpened the hook points just so they're extra sharp um, I'm pretty sure these were pretty cheap too. Maybe 20 bucks for 10 hooks. I could be wrong. 
it was a while ago that I bought them, but they haven't failed me yet, so. So to sharpen my hooks, I just went down to local Home Depot, picked up a three pack of files. It came with a flat, a triangular, and a circular. Um, I just used the flat on the main part of the hook, and then I come in with the finer side of the triangular file just to give it a little bit more sharpness. I um, think I bought the pack for like 10 bucks just because I needed some files anyway but this is like the main application that I use them for. Alright so this is my main shark rig. I think it's probably the best one that I've made to date. Again 14 aught circle hook. Filed the barb down. Filed the tip just so I make sure it's sharp. 400 pound cable double crimp just for extra protection coming up here about uh, two feet to my main shock wire leader um, connected that crimped it um, the swivels for my breakaway bricks and then that comes down to about 10 feet of 400 pound mono that's crimped connected to a 400 pound swivel that will be connected to my main line um, I usually use a uni knot from a hundred pound mono to swivel connection um, but that's pretty much that that's how I make my rigs just want to share that with you guys hopefully it's educational to some um, but if you like my channel and my videos make sure to subscribe drop a like comment down below if you have any questions or um, comments you want to make you know but thanks for watching guys till next time